Yeah, sell that. Sell that. Sell that. I'm trying to get to at least four thousand, maybe even five thousand dollars before I redo the house. I think maybe we'll just wait till we have five thousand, uh, cause then we'll have more money and can make a better house. I think I'm still gonna keep it a small house. This is what I kind of wish, like we had in real life, where you can just, you know, walk, go around the world, collect some random things you find, sell it, and somehow now have enough money to own a plot of land and just build your own house on it. Like, wow, guys, this, this is the dream. You know, this is the life you want to live. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. See, this is one of the things I really like about The Sims. You can... The things that can't happen in real life, like... Buying a house. <laughs> uh, um, you can do in The Sims. Or, like, in The Sims you can work hard and get promoted in your job by completing your tasks and doing your work. Isn't that wild? In real life that doesn't happen. Just in case you're, you know, a younger person who hasn't had like a, a job yet. Um, just because you work hard doesn't mean you'll get promoted. Sadly. A lot of it's dependent on who likes you at work. Do the right people like you? Because you can do everything right and people are still going to find something that they hate about what you've done. And if you're not the right person, you know, you get labeled as, you know, a problem. So, I'm not talking about anything personal, of course, because that, that hasn't happened to me. Um, but, you know, work hard, do your job at work, but, you know, realize that at the end of the day, don't try to get your value from your job because the the job you're, you're you're just a you're just a worker to them you're not you're a person that is there to serve a function you're not a person you serve a function and just don't forget that no matter all the stuff they say about how our people are our, our resource and blah 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 you know this just corporate BS um, you know just you're everyone's replaceable at a job no matter how much you know no matter how much you know when how irreplaceable you are with some of the things you know if you were gone tomorrow they would find someone else so and even if they do need you they act like you're well I'll just go ahead and talk about job stuff, but I have not really had a great experience in my current job. Um, the criticism and toxicity and abusive environment has been really, really bad. Um, so, you know, I've grown to believe at this job that apparently everything I do is a problem. You know, you get, I criticize for every little thing I say and do. And I'm at the point of just being like, well, if I'm doing everything wrong, then why am I even trying with all this stuff? So I just go in, I do my job, you know, I, 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 I do as, as well as I can. But I've stopped trying to, you know, put so much emotional investment into my work and emotional energy. I don't have any more patience for behaviors that I once felt like maybe it's me doing something wrong, but no, it's not me. It's other people's bad behavior, so, you know, just, just realize that sometimes, many times, people, other people's bad behavior is not a response to you, but a problem that that person has. So, I've dealt with a lot of bad behavior from other people at this job, and 
you know, the relentless criticism is just brutal to kind of endure. Especially when, like, every day it's like, you've done this wrong, you've done that wrong, and always finding something to critique you on. And you're just like, golly, why do you, why am I even here if I'm just such a monumental failure to you guys? You know? The thing that I've been criticized a lot on is this, you know, subjective communication, you know? Um, I was told that there's too many awkward pauses in conversation, and I'm like, okay, so awkward pauses means that I'm bad at communicating? That seems weird. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I know I'm a weird person, but I don't think someone being awkward is a reason to say that they're not a good employee. What happens if you, like, you're... Like, I'm a weird person. Deal with it. If you feel awkward, like, you're feeling awkward. You're saying there's awkward pauses. Well, you're the one making it awkward. I don't feel awkward. I'm just here. Like, I'm supposed to not make you not feel awkward, and that means that I'm going to be a better employee? <sighs> Whatever. Um, but, you know... You can do, you can bend over backwards, do everything that people want you to do, and they're still not going to be happy. You know? And then some other person who's, you know, gets praised for stuff they do, and you're just like, I'm doing the same thing. How come I'm a bad, doing it bad? You know, it's just really, it's very difficult to kind of deal with that, you know, perspective that has been... Oh, she's too uncomfortable now. Okay, so she's very uncomfortable because she really has to pee, she's hungry, and she's stinky. She's always stinky, but I guess if you're riding your bike around an island all day, then I guess that makes sense. Butterfly. You would not believe your eyes. Ten million fireflies. Um, oh dear, she's about to pee herself. Um, but before you pee yourself, let's find a bush. Oh, oh, right here, right here. Go, go here. Go pee, pee. Don't pee on yourself, because when they pee on themselves and they're very upset, and they're like, oh no, oh no, oh, where are you going? Yep, yep. Oh my gosh, she just leaves the bike. Why, why, why? Go, oh, she's too uncomfortable. Okay, so go take a shower. But, yeah, so, you know, do your job. Don't, you know, always do the right thing because that's the only thing that's going to give you any comfort that you're doing the right thing, even if other people are not doing the right thing. Um, shower time. You know, it's probably not a good idea that she has this window right in front of her shower. Well, this is the sim, so it doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah, so do your job, do the right thing, but just realize that at the end of the day, the labels that people give you are their labels, or are, are the problems that they have that are being projected onto you. So, just keep that in mind. You know, even though you know that, it's hard to sort of accept it because, you know, you want people to approve you. You want, you want to go to work and, and like your job. You want to, you know, not feel tense every time you have to be in work. But And that's how I feel at work all the time. Let's kick this trash can over. I'm feeling upset. Kick it, yeah, kick it over, kick it, kick it, yeah, that feels hey, good, <laughs> yep, she's happy about it, how does the trash that she kicked over end up all the way over there though, that's, that's my question, now grab your bike, so that she doesn't have it just left here, let's see, um, 
Yeah, let's go here. Let's dig this up. Then I think we'll just have her go fishing. Because that'll be fun. You know, it'll be nice and relaxing. I've never gone fishing. I am curious to go fishing, but I also don't want to touch the fish. <laughs> and I don't want to touch any worms or the bait. So, maybe fishing is not for me. But, you know, yeah. I'm not Ron Swanson. You know, I want to watch Parks and Rec. That show was good. Reminds me of the good old days, you know? But I guess there never were good old days. We just... <sighs> yeah. I guess it just reminds me of, like, you know, pre-Trump times. You know, back when... You know, when Obama was president, you're like, oh my gosh, you know, hope, change. Things can happen. And then 2016 came, and November 2016, when I woke up and heard the news that Trump was president, I was physically ill. And it was all downhill from there, guys. <laughs> Not that I'm blaming him for, you know, things going wrong in my life, but there was some correlation there. Uh, yeah, why are we talking about Trump? I'm so happy he's not president anymore. It's nice not to have that heart attack every single day from hearing about him. Um, no, Gemma, I don't want to go to a crazy party to bluffs. I got school tomorrow, because I'm a good student. You know, actually, let's not even go fishing. Let's go home. Let's just hang out at home. Let's feed her... her critters. Let's have her feed her critters. Aww. She's having fun with her bugs. Oh. <laughs> Alright, collect the biofuel oh, or the grub meal? Grub meal. Right, let's collect the grub meal and see how much that costs. Or how much money we get from that. Aww. <laughs> Sell that. Guys, I think we're gonna get to five thousand dollars by like tomorrow, perhaps. Hopes of flipped up. Let's put this trash. Oh no no no! Put that put them in the trash. Okay, she's she's talking to her pets. Okay, so that. Okay, that's only fifteen. Um, collect beetle nuggets or collect biofuel. Let's try the biofuel. Biofuel. Okay, so biofuel you can get some pretty good money. Alright, go to sleep, miss. You got school tomorrow. Alright, sell this. Um, cricket flower? What is this? Grub grub meal? They may look like gross insect larvae, but really they're gross insect larvae that's also a good source of protein. Okay, we'll sell that. And then the biofuel, we'll sell that. Um, she needs to talk to people apparently because she's upset about stuff. Oh, shoot! Wake up! Wake up! Wake me up! When September ends, okay, she does not even have time to eat food. Eat that, eat it, hurry up and eat it. Put it in your mouth and eat it. Eat it. Okay, well, she's still hungry, but she's sad. Okay, she ate a blackberry, so that made her happy. Um, let's see. What else, what else, what else? We are close to $5,000, though. We're only $700 away. Bills have been delivered to my mailbox. Man. Should I get a generator? Because we have insects now. 
so that could be... Oh, no, fine, Gemma. Gemma is like now our, our stalker. $14 for bills. Imagine if you only had to pay $14 for your bills. That'd be wild. Okay, let's... Um... Let's fertilize the plants, maybe. So that we can increase... Yeah, fertilize that. Fer oh, no! Dead plants! What? No, my apple tree! Oh no, that's so sad. My apple tree is dead. Good thing my best friend Gemma gave me an apple, though. So, no problem there. Okay, let's fertilize all our plants. All our plants. And the big brown bear came lullabing over the mountain. In case you didn't know, that's like... I don't know if anyone's watched Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> but there is a scene where the grandpa is reading a book to his grandkids. And that's the line he reads from the book. And just the word lullabing was hilarious to me. Alright, let's see. Can she sell everything? Sell, 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 sell. Hey, Gemma. Hey, girl. What's up? You wanna... Why are you sad? Oh no, she's sad. Why are you sad? You've got such a interesting outfit. Well, cloud gaze. That'll make us happy. Aww. She can't just start thinking about further education. Take a look at her options by researching universities below or on a computer. You know... I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to send her to college. Because in The Sims, it's just a bunch of money. And you don't need it. Just like real life. Just kidding, guys. Go to college because if you don't have a degree, it's really hard to get a job. But if you have a degree, it's also really hard to get a job. So, um, yeah. Ask her about her day while you dumpster dive. <laughs> so, Gemma, how's school? I saw you there today, you know. We're in the same classes. Uh, so that's, you know, fun. The school. <sighs> school. Remember as a kid, people would always be like, You should be happy you're in school. School is good. How's school? And they would always ask you how school is. And you're like, What do I say to that? Like, it's school. Oh, she's upset because she's stinky. But you're a kid and you're like, okay, like, how's school? And they'll always ask you that and you're like, um, it's fine, I guess. Like, what What do you want me to tell you about school? Like, what's the right answer to that question? Like, I wasn't going to be going to tell adults like, hey, yeah, I'll tell you about school, about how I have no friends and I just read by myself all the time. And people make fun of me, but you know school is great. And they're like you should, you should enjoy these days because school is gonna it's so good. You know when you're old you have to pay bills, and I'm like, okay, um, how like they want you? It's almost her birthday. Oh no, I gotta turn off aging. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, go to game options, gameplay. Um, auto age, no. Auto age, unplayed sims, okay. Whew. Okay, that scared me. Um, yeah, as a kid, I'm like, oh, you should be, 
grateful that you are a kid because then enjoy these days and you're like um I feel like you're telling me how I should feel about something and want me to display like not only feel the emotion but you also want me to show you that I'm feeling this emotion I'm like um no I'm not here for it um But, yeah, I'm like, if you're a kid, you know, like school, don't like school, feel however you want about school. And people ask you, how's school? You just tell them it's fine. I mean, that's all they really want to hear. They just, and I mean, as an adult, when people ask you, how are you? It's like the how are you question. They don't really want to know how you are. It's just like an empty pleasantry kind of thing. So, when they ask you, how are you, you just say, oh, I'm good, or I'm fine, but, you know, don't just, don't say fine, just say, I'm, I'm doing good, but say it in an upbeat tone of voice, so that, you know, you can just get them off your back, because no one really wants to hear problems, they don't want to hear about, oh, yeah, no, no, I'm, you know, spiraling, I don't get enough sleep, um, you know, I wonder what's going to happen to me in the next five years. Um, the economy, inflation, you know, trying to hold on, sad, depressed, anxious. No one wants to hear all that. They just want to know that they just want to feel good that they asked, you know, the, the generic how are you question. So you just give them a generic answer of I'm fine. It's great. Everything is great. I don't know. I know during this whole, like, pandemic, there was, like, a lot of news about how, like, oh my gosh, uh, people's mental health is really bad in the pandemic, and I'm like, people had these problems before, they just are, now people are realizing it more. Like, people are depressed because of the pandemic, I'm like, <laughs> bitch, I've been depressed and anxious, so welcome to the club. Mm. You ain't special? You've been here for a while. You know? You know? You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm pretty much a hypochondriac person. I get really freaked out with germs. So a global pandemic was super fun for, you know, my anxiety. Um, where, you know, you're terrified of germs killing you. And mm -hmm. I live in Florida where people don't believe in wearing masks. So most of the pandemic, I've just been around people that just don't wear masks. So that's, you know, been awesome for my anxiety. Um, yeah. And, you know, getting panic attacks when I go back to work. So that's fun, too. Uh, yeah, panic attacks are a lot of fun. Especially when you're trying to act like you're not having a panic attack when you're around other people so that you don't look like you're having a panic attack. That's extra fun. Um, but in The Sims, there's no pandemic. There's no anxiety. There's no fear. There's only reading your homework at, in a bed in the middle of the woods. You don't have to worry about some creepy stalker. Mm. Or the creepy stalker doesn't, you know, commit violent crimes against you because there is no violent crime in the Sims world. So she can just sit here all cute and happy with lots of big windows, living alone, and have no worries. She's gonna go over, go pee in the pea bush. See, she can go pee in the pea bush at 10.30 at night in the middle of the woods to call somebody because apparently- wait! Why did that girl hate me? Why does she have a bad relationship with these random people? Um, let's call some people just to kind of get her social up. They're probably going to be asleep and going to complain, but, you know, we'll do it anyways. Yeah, hang out next to the pea bush and have a conversation. Yeah, Nina Batona! Okay, let's, um, I don't know, let's read, read a book. Love in the Time of Sandwiches. 
What? I'm sleeping. Call later. Yeah, you're sleeping. What? I'm, okay, well, both of them said, when I'm sleeping, I'll call later, but you had a full-blown conversation with them. Maybe they were sleep-talking. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, yes. so how come her fun isn't going up as much as I would huh. think? It should. <gasps> she has $5,000. Perfect. You are perfect to me. I don't know what song that was from. All these love songs, like, they need to have songs about more realistic things in life. Like, I don't know. <coughs> Those songs like In Encanto, those were realistic songs. Like, huh. Surface Pressure, I'm like, whoa, that song destroyed huh. me. I'm like, this is too real. <coughs> like, let's have a song about, you know, depression and anxiety. Like Linkin Park, see? You know? Because in the end, it doesn't even matter. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I tried so hard and got so far. That's my life, the song of my life. Okay, so... Um, yeah, just let her finish reading the book. She's almost done, even though it's 1 a.m. Dude, stop. Okay, oh my gosh. I probably should just had her go to sleep. Okay, she's sleeping. Thinking about peeing her pants, butterflies, farts, peeing her pants, sunshine, death, ghost, ghost, I mean death. Ah, wake up. Oh, she needs to eat food, and yikes. Okay, well, she didn't get any food. Mm -hmm.